Fourteenth lesson I learned in sales that helped me be successful in stand-up comedy was this. Always leave things better for the next person. In sales, leave the opportunity better for the next salesperson. In stand-up, leave the crowd, leave the opportunity better for the next comic. Now, here's what I mean. It's, this lesson actually starts in the previous lesson, 13, of respecting the house. But it goes deeper than that, and that's why it needed its own lesson. In sales, you're not going to win them all. You're not going to be able to close every sale. And if that happens, you don't want to make your customer, potential customer, the person you're sitting across the table from, you don't want to leave them in a state where they are more closed off for the opportunity to have a conversation with another salesperson about another opportunity. And stand up, if things aren't going your way, if you're having a bad performance, don't blame the audience. It's never their fault. But then don't make them angry and don't leave them hostile towards the next comic. And this applies if you're the host or, or an opening comic or wherever you fall in the lineup. Eventually, someone's going to come after you. I'll share this story real quickly. When the primary place I was performing changed ownerships and closed down. My eyes and ears were open to find a new opportunity, a new venue to host shows. And I went to a local place that was a brewery, but they had expanded into a restaurant way in the east part of Phoenix. So I drove out there to have supper and, and scope it out. They had a beautiful stage. They had beautiful lighting and a sound system. And they weren't using it. I had a conversation with the manager, asked if they've ever had comedy there. And he said, yeah, we tried it, but it didn't work out. And I said, well, what do you mean? And he said, well, the, the audience didn't buy anything. They only drink water. They didn't buy any food or any drinks. And we lost money on the deal. To make a long story short, he wasn't open to the idea of more comedy there. So I didn't have an opportunity to, to book any shows there or to advance my career in that area. Same thing in sales. I've walked into houses where they were very closed off because they had a bad experience with a previous salesperson. So from a respecting the craft of sales, respecting the craft of comedy, always leave your audience better than you found them. And if you do that, you will be successful in sales and stand-up comedy.